we're on the lookout for something to put on our Thule sun canopy and I didn't realise you can get an Isabella one. Well, it says welcome to the NEC and we've made it to Birmingham. And it's a cold wind this morning. We're going to go through security and we'll see you inside. Good morning. We got through security, they let us in. And we're in hall five. So we're going back to front. There's five, four, three, two, and one. Uh, we're going to go back to front. So this is where the van conversions and camper vans are. So, uh, West Valley. And all that see. stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, but I'm desperate for a cup of tea. So we're probably going to have a quick yeah. look and have a cuppa. And, and then we'll get down drive. to it. Yeah, just have a three hour five. drive. Yeah. <laughs> so as you walk in, the Westphalia greet you and then Wild Axe got Loudhams over the back there Water Sports and Beachside Cafe quite fancy the Beachside Cafe sir so. and then uh, we've got more vans over here hillside some great colours well Sue said you wanted to uh, Come to the beach side. So we've come to the beach side okay, cafe. Yeah, we're going to build some sandcastles soon. Yeah. Let's go and have a coffee. I'm going to have a little look at the Bowdens campers. And Sue's, it's kind of like this Crantock, don't you? Yeah, look, look what it's got. So what you got then, Sue? Reverse so? camera, 200 watt solar panel, yeah. diesel heater, camera wind jet oil, wind deflections, oak work top, yeah. oven grill. Alloys, front bumper splitter, black side bars, and yeah. swan neck light. Okay, well, I'll see if we can provide some of them things. Yeah. They're sort of based on the um, the VW uh, Transporter T6.1. And I and noticed uh, there's some cushions on the seats. Is it to make it flatter when yep. you put your feet? Yeah, that's uh, for when you make the bed up. And so I was just that's talking to the cool. gentleman, um, and he that's said you can have it as two singles, Sue, so, or you can have this as a double. Okay, so you can it's make all, it up as a double. It's unusual not to have the, up, the up oven and sink in this area. Yes, mm. yeah, and uh, saying this is, they're, they're, um, they think they're the only um, converter that actually have the kitchen in the back of the van. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. But um, as you can see, they've got the, uh, as Sue says, they've got the wedges in there to make the seats flat so that when you make it into a bed, it's much flatter. They swivel, don't they? So you can take two passengers, can't you? Yep. Yep, so you could take four people because you've got two uh, passenger seats here. Lovely alloy wheels. Very smart looking vehicle. Uh, canopy above and then the pop top. Sue's gone around the other side. We're going to go around the other side in just a minute. Take you around the front. Got that VW look about it, hasn't it? Beautiful. This is a £70,000 van. So uh, you do need to be serious about it if you're going to go for one of these. It's quite nice because you've got you lift this up and stand underneath here, can't you? Yeah, it's, it's nice, isn't it? And then what I like is... It's nice that you can use this as a, as a bit of uh, shelter, as it were. It's the toilet, look. Yeah, so you've got a, a drop-down cupboard here. But inside... There's a flashable loo with a view. And a little door, so you've got a bit of privacy yeah. and you, you empty it from this side and a flush, separate flush. So, yep, yeah, it's all so there. you can go around the corner and do your business at least. Can't you? <laughs> you can hide up around the, the corner. And you've got the oak work top. This is the oak top they're talking about, yeah. Yeah. Cupboards above. And a really useful size uh, kitchen and working area, isn't it? And you've got an oven. A little uh, combi storage. oven down here. And then you've got your compressor fridge. Yeah. So with the, with the little vans like these, you do need to make use of every little bit of space. That's your water container. Yeah, so you get the water in there. And your gas. The uh, steel box is for uh, LPG. There's a roll, a roll a front front yeah, storage box there. 
Yeah. And uh, compressor fridge. Yeah, like, like the felt lined and makes everything so mm, quiet, curtains, doesn't it? Got little curtains everywhere. And like, yeah. And obviously, can you make a bed at the top? Yeah, that falls down. Yeah. Can't it? Yep. Can yeah, there's going to be another bunk up there, isn't there? Bunk up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like this layout, so you've got a bit of privacy to walk your toilet. That's right, yeah. Now we did say that we could go in, but I'm, I'm going to uh, politely decline. Yeah, so it's easy. It's a very smart looking van. People say they don't like white vans, but that to me is not a white van. That's really smart. Well, another name that's new to us is a Wiam. And these are built in Italy, apparently. And Sue's... Uh, been in a couple of these, there's several models. It's only 5.4 metres long. 5.4 metres. Let's see what we can get inside a 5.4 metre coach wheel. There we are. And in we go. Oh, look at this. That's nice. Look at this lovely round. There it is. A little bit of Italian design here. It's very contemporary, isn't it? Oh, this, this is nice. I like isn't it. it. Got two little. Gas yeah, burners. Gas burners. Is that a compressor fridge underneath? Yeah, compressor fridge there. Yeah. And you've got a pretty substantial sink. Yeah. It's quite yeah. nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, I do like yeah, the very finish. Very tactile. And you've got your oven. Yeah. And you've got a lot of work surface. Good look. bit of work surface there, haven't you? Yeah. You've got a point under here, like USB, yeah. and a normal electric point. Okay. And then you've still got a lot of space. Good above bit of headroom head. here, yeah. And yeah. your cupboards, you pull these handles down, look. Yeah, let's have a little look. Sure. Just open that again. Oh, they're nice they're and really wiped clean, aren't well they? Made, aren't they? Yeah, lovely. I like the way you pull this down and open them that way. Yeah. So you've got storage under, storage under here as kitchen. well, look. Nice yeah. big drawer. And then. Oh, and the little cupboards. ledge to th matching, so things don't fall out. out. Yeah. And look at all this seating yeah. space you've got. You can take two passengers. Two passengers, yeah. Table, and then, is that, yeah, that's an automatic, isn't it? Yep, that's on the Fiat automatic, on the new Fiat. And the, I've just lent on the table and they're sliding away from me. So the table moves around. But look at these lovely, look lovely this leather storage. seats. Look, you've got this lovely st storage here. Look for your, your paperwork yeah, and stuff that you're there. going to want to grab when you're on the move. Now I'm going to step back because um, you can show me what's above your head there, Sue. So. We've, got, we've got two more cupboards here. Look, there's six seats, it says. Yeah. And then but this is the drop down bed. Yeah, this is the thing, look isn't it? That. Wow. Fancy lighting underneath. wow, that is great. Now it looks like you need to get up onto the bed with a ladder, so it's going to swing down on these arms here, isn't it? And uh, fill that area, and that'll be yeah. a double bed. Yeah, it's unusual seeing the arms. Yep, so there's a We've rail around for curtains. There's a rail for curtain, and there's like remis blinds. Well. And there's remis, yep, cab lines are all in there. Yeah. And then look at this lovely wardrobe. So coming back to right the back of the Right near the doorway van. where you want it. Yeah. I like the shape of the cupboard. And a and uh, skylight here. Oh, There's a skylight above that. the bed as well, actually. Get your shoes and that in there in a basket. Lovely yeah. big cupboard, yeah. And what's the washroom like, Sue? And the washroom. We've got a queue outside, so we're going to have to be fairly smart. Are we looking here? Oh, very, wow. Very posh. Oh, isn't it? Just. It's a shower curtain. But, I love yeah, the lined shower. That's great. A lovely big sink and storage bar. Oh, my goodness and me. Below. Look at that. Plenty of storage. Mm. You've even got a toilet brush. And a lo locking uh, cupboards with mirrors. And that's it's quite a really spacious, big, isn't it? Really big shower it's area. Nice Look big, at that. Yeah, lovely. Big room, isn't it? For the we size like, of the we? van, I can't believe you. It's a tiny so much, van. Is it five point four? Five point four meters. Just look at the living space. Incredible. And there, is a, there is a skylight above the bed as well as this one here. There is. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Go and have a look on the outside. Well, this is around the front of the van here. We had to come out, they're so popular, these vans. So, monocoque, so they are a one piece. So, roof, as you can see, everything's curved. Uh, around here, look. Can you see the join? Uh, it's a really nice van. It's all central looking. Uh, it was just saying that you, you press the button here. This is a locker that's underneath 
the benches. Got your electric hook up, Truma heating, and another locker here, and round the back somewhere a really nice boot space for putting your chairs and uh, your windbreak if you like me. I love the bin. But uh, Fiamma, a nice Fiamma um, roll-out awning as well, camera on the back. But, uh, nice flat windows. I really like that van and uh, various different specifications. Um, they're all around about £100,000 by the look of it and uh, quite a small van for that kind of money but you're getting quality there and thank you for, to James for showing us around that really enjoyed it well we're on the lookout for something to put on our Thule sun canopy and I didn't realise you can get an Isabella one now we like Isabella, it's, don't it's we, Sue? It's caught my eye. When we had our caravan, we had a, a full awning yeah. from Isabella. It cost us an arm and a leg. It's, it's not cheap stuff. Quality. This was only launched last year. Yeah, and made in Denmark. Sizes. Uh, and it's and got... look at the style. I'm going to step back while Sue's talking. I'm going to step back here and just show you what it is. It's a, a screen house, factory, uh, or a, um, you know, it's an awning that you make from your rollout awning. So. If you've got a, a Thule Omnistar uh, or Omnistar uh, roll-out awning, you can adapt it into a watertight awning. Now, Isabella, as I say, you've got the fronts you that can drop down. Well, don't you? And this is the, this what they call the, the, yeah, the, the, the bar. So you've just got the three bars, you've got that one and the two that the two go that either fit side. in the ceiling, yeah. So you, all, all of this is still utilised, the, the original... Um, magnets These and magnets, magnets to seal the roof the top. yeah to seal the roof so let's walk inside and you can see the quality of this and the styling of it is really lovely and this is a really nice off, material this rolls up on the outside yep. so you've got ventilation so you've got there. ventilation and this is ventilated and ventilation and here all the plastic down yeah. you've got big skirt all the way round yeah and, and uh, that one you can and then you could put your mats over the top of the skirt. Now the, this, because of the nice big mud, what they call a mud skirt, um, being long, it's bound to fit our van. There's no way that this wouldn't fit our van. You just have to get the right model for the length of your Thule on this door. This is nice too, isn't it, Jeff? You've got this extra yeah. bit here. So you've got these shaped ends as well. And yeah. padded. Yeah. So it looks like you just have to probably drill to put those holes in like yeah. you do any of the... Yeah. Now these poles that you can just see through here are made of fiberglass, so they're nice and lightweight. You can have this as a door as well, can't you? That's got little tabs here yep. so you can roll it back, so you're going to have a doorway. And the Isabella that side as well. are renowned for their little porthole win windows uh, in the end. Really lovely quality, sir. So. Yeah. You've got these little things you can put that pole anywhere, look. Yeah, so you've got uh, this uh, pole so you can drop it down. Really cleverly made. Smashing. Well, we didn't I think, realise you could get an Isabella. We, yeah, we've looked at these, haven't we? we? Um, but I think this is this is actually nicer than the Thule one uh, that we looked at. We um, need a 4.2. 4.2 meter because our canopy is 4.5 meters, so yeah. it'll make a really big room yeah. for uh, enjoying the outdoors. And there it is. It's on the side of a, a Swift. Uh, here, but uh, that would go on a it's on a Decatur at the moment, but that would go on the Crafter without any problems at all. Lots of clothing stalls along uh, here in Hall 5. We've been here a couple of hours and we've not got out of Hall 5 yet. Um, still walking around the camper vans. There's another VW here on the Bilbo stand, bilbos.com. Some beautiful vehicles here. <laughs> and they're getting sold signs on them. And around here, we're in the Westphalia area here now. Um, can have a little wander over there and have a look at the Westphalia Crafter. Double, double doors, look. Yeah, this one's got doors on both sides, on both side, side. is not it, so yeah, yeah. So, uh, 
Okay, it's a long, it's a long wheelbase. The one that we looked at earlier was a short wheelbase. Um, so, yeah, there's people inside it, and I don't like to interrupt them. So this is the Kelsey from Westphalia with the uh, Ford chassis. We're kind of looking at this craft. Uh, this is a uh, Volkswagen craft uh, uh, with Westphalia, um, coming in at ninety and a half thousand uh, pounds. Smurf territory, but this is a shorter, it's a medium wheelbase van. I'm not sure if you can read all of that on there. Uh, the spec, but uh, I love the colour of the uh, the grey on the VWs. It's really nice, isn't it? I'm going to wander around the van and then I'm going to stick my head inside it in just a minute. So get the big barn doors on the back. Mm -hmm. And uh, the pop-out sides. Now these are very good because they do give you, when you sleep across the van, you. You, you can put your feet in there, Sue. Yeah, yeah. Keep keep your feet out of the way, don't it? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. But you do need that with these vans because they're not wide enough really to sleep like width ways, are they? No. But uh, this is a little bit shorter than Smurf. Um, but uh, you see, the washroom's going to be here again, and a uh, lounge and a uh, cab. So at the back here you've got the big barn doors and the lots of space here with your bed above. Um, a ton of space there for storing your bikes with uh, tie down rings as well in the floor. Cupboards above the bed. Now I'll take you around to the other side now. So you've got the um, cab that we recognise from Smurf. Uh, no cab blinds um, and no storage above the cab on this one. But uh, you've got a uh, nice seating area in the front here with a swivel table uh, on a raised floor. Storage here. And uh, the kitchen on the side here. Washroom just there. And uh, yeah, really nice tourer. Really nice. So we've got a fridge in here. And uh, the drawers there. Nice van, Sue. It's nice. Yeah, like very that one. sleek from the outside. Yeah, it does look really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. So Sue's found the um, the laundrette. It looks like you're getting a wash machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we say we want the warm wash, don't we? Yeah. <laughs> and, I don't uh, mind. Yeah, look it's at that. Open, so. I'm going to step back in a minute, but we'll have a little look inside. And uh, if you hadn't already realised, it's on wheels, and it's uh, it's one of these little teardrop uh, trailers, come caravan. Uh, kitchen in the back there, and his name is Mink. Uh, I wonder if you can get him in blue. Look great behind Smurf, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Do you think they come in blue? So if they came in blue, we could have one for Smurf, couldn't we? The drawers, they're, yeah. they're clearly labelled what you're supposed to put in them. That's right, yeah. Pots and pans, that's a nice water yeah. spoon, it's a nice spray. Is that just in case you've forgotten? And the one inside is for shoes. Yeah, yeah. Great and idea. Shoes, yeah. Great idea, I really like that. I like the wide, wide wheelbase. Be nice and steady on the road. And then uh, you've got your hitch up this end, the Alcos chassis, and the hitch up this end. Sue so spotted the cup holders on the yeah, wheel arch. Put your glasses in there yeah. or your cups Handy off. for your wine glass. Very handy, just got them to take it off before you drive off. <laughs> before you drive yeah. away, yeah. Yeah, lovely. Great oh, fun. Great. Yeah, lovely. Really good fun. There's always a choice of colour, Sue. Yes. Hey? Lovely blue, like Smurf. Look, and then look at that one. What do you call that? Lilac? Lilac. Lilac, yeah. Yes. And then there's a grey one over there and a, and a pale grey. 
There's so many different choices. Right, well Sue's gone in a Vantage Neo. Yes, and very uh, nice. You quite like this, don't you, Sue? I do. Yeah, there's not many you, you don't see like, why to be it honest. Appeals. The layout is very similar. Yeah. Apart from the now door. we're we're picking the vans that we like, and uh, you will probably spotted we keep saying, "Oh, this is nice, this is nice." Well, that's because we picked the vans we like. This is a Fiat. Cab, this is a Fiat. Yeah, it's on a it's manual box, cab. and uh, lovely seats. Um, this one armrest. Oh look, it can oh, get my all your word. tins in yeah, there. That's all ready to go. What look. a good idea, yeah. You can get the food <laughs> with it, look. Oh, that's great. Gosh, that's good. And that's made your day, isn't it, babe? You've got a pole there. Yes, yeah, the two table. poles. Yeah. You go at the front here. So a, well, that can go down here. the end, like ours do. Yep. Yeah. Compress the fridge. Big then, wardrobe. Oh, that's your wardrobe. Yeah, look. lovely big wardrobe. And a nice place near the yeah. door, isn't it? Yeah. Good use of space there. And they've got a room. Um, and you've got. Combi. A combi oven got your with three a gas pop. Rings. Yeah. Nice oven, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What is this a drawer? Yeah, look at that lovely, lovely big, big substantial box. drawer. You yeah. can get a lot in there, you can get your pots and pans in there. And a nice flappy tray here. And underneath. And uh these, these a are bin. Made. really thick. Yeah, they are. Thick they're shelves. Nice. Yeah, they're nice. And look at these two little drawers, look. You got your built in look, your built in cutlery tray. And these are really substantial. So we've got three of those. They feel nice and solid, don't they? Beautifully made, yeah. Yeah. And you see, you've got yourself. breakfast up here as well. Hey? Yeah, you've got, you've got, you've got, <laughs> you've got pop some up nice electric. splash back. Yeah. And then you've got your and you see, dinky little, little, yeah. dinky little bowl look. Yeah. That'll fit inside it. Yeah, that's made for the job, isn't it? And you've got quite yeah. a bit of work surface there. Look at and the down here, a little. So you've got a flap this up. side as well. Little thing to put your phones in or something. Yeah, for your magazine. So this is obviously yeah, one over the there as well. And bed. Yeah. With rear opening doors. So you've got, got lots uh, of visibility. Storage under. And then you've got all these cupboards above. There's loads of storage. And they're, again, they're lovely cupboards. They are nice. And yeah, I love nice, the wood. nice shaped cupboards. If you can see the angle of shape there. Look. That's lovely and really light good. and dry, isn't it? And the windows open. Most important. So if you've ever been abroad or Italy, you'll know you must look. open the windows. Even they glide out beautifully. Yeah. And then you've got a little, like we've got, yep. so you can access. Yep, that's access into the boot, which we uh, can go around and have a look at in a second. You've got a table there. TV and sound bar. USB points. Yep. The uh, um, Truma iNet uh, ready heating system and uh, and uh, two nice hinges, nice good sturdy hinges. Got one there, yeah. yep. big biggish one, and then a smaller one over there. I like, so I like the, this uh, that stops the drafts. That's good, isn't it? With the barn doors. Inside yeah. a bit, and you've got lots of little yeah. storage pockets in there. Yeah. And windows all round, and USB points, one there, another one that side. Yeah. So there's plenty of USB points, isn't yeah. there? Yeah, the thought of uh, the thought of it, haven't they? The nice fabric around the uh, mm. around the windows here. And they've got a sensible sort of leather edging. Yeah. Where you're gonna where you're gonna where it's gonna get dirty. Half there, leather, yeah. 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 Nice build, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it's lovely. Let's go and have a look around the other truma. side. Quick look at the washroom then, because we almost forgot, didn't we? Yeah, that, that's and, a substantial uh, size. It's got a little no, roof light, look. There's no window, but there is a roof light, yeah. Uh, bench, toilet, I like that idea. Really easy to keep clean uh, the bench toilet. Ours is a bit of a fiddle um, to it's get a around. Curtain, but isn't there? Yeah, there's a curtain and there's your skylight. Yeah, very adequate. Nice big mirror. Any storage in there? Just a little cupboard around this side. There's a big sliding door here with a uh, fly screen um, there. And uh, nice thing about it is you've got you've got two ends to the van, haven't you? So you've got this end and that end, as it were. Yeah, and you've so, also got uh, another lift up flat yeah, here. Little flat or, there. And yeah. this is like a magazine rack. Yeah, like a bin. Yeah. And then you've got some controls. Yeah. Some yeah. more dimmers and things. It's true. Maybe. Yeah, it's a really nice van, and uh, it's lovely. Storage above here as well. So there's the Vantage and Neo. Uh, about 76,000 on the road. Pretty good value, I think. Uh, the show, show, uh, the show price on this one's 83,370. So that's obviously spec'd up. Cab lines, yeah. 
the and the fly screen. Yeah, yeah. And the uh, Fiamma FATS rollout canopy. Yeah, so quite well spec'd up. And then towards the rear of the van here, got the barn doors as you saw from inside. And uh, here is the uh, the seal between the doors and the boot space. So you've got a little bit of room here. And then the bigger boot here and the access to the floor inside. It's a good bit of room there. And of course the uh, the doors will open right up right up. That's a really nice fan from Vantage. Well, you might have known I'd be drawn to Wild Axe and uh, their MAN, which is effectively the VW Crafter with a different badge. It's uh, pretty much the same van as it goes. Uh, notice they've got the cab lines fitted, uh, which we'll show you in a video very soon. We've just had those fitted to ours. Um, this is a three berth, four seat belts, um, and it's a manual six speed. And it's coming out at a uh, smidge under £93,000. Uh, uh, this has got a uh, yeah, fly screen on there. This has got the uh, front diner. So you've got your swivel seats and your two passenger seats there. Hop inside then, babe. There's no storage cupboard above the uh, cab on this one. It's an automatic. interesting use of uh, LEDs. Take two and, uh, is that leather, Sue? That's sort of like a faux leather. Oh, faux leather, yeah. Yeah, like a uh, vegan leather. Okay, so you've got a skylight there. And uh, they've got induction on the kitchen here, Sue. And it looks like it's a Dometic uh, three way fridge. Yeah, and a cupboard above. And we're just waiting for the other people to come out and we'll show you the back end of the van. We've got a lift up extension to the worktop. You can lift that up so you've got extra work space. And the sliding door is in the correct side for UK roads. So we're going to hop in the van and we'll show you down the other end. We've got to be quick because there is quite a lot of people wanting to get in these vans this morning. Um, Reduction hob I mentioned. Three drawers. This Lovely rear lounge. To a bed. So, oh, there's something that slots on here, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, it makes up into a double, doesn't yeah, it? I think anyway, that makes up into a double. You've yeah. got a slot there for your table. Yeah. There's lots of cupboards. Yeah, quite deep. Lockers. Really substantial. Yeah, they are much deeper than ours. In fact, uh, almost as deep that you don't have a lot of remaining space in the middle here. Um, so and uh, it's just a small skylight in the back yeah. here. There's loads Barn doors though, so they're really nicely, beautifully made, aren't they? They're nicely made, really yeah. Substantial cupboards. And the uh, windows and the on the all the way on the on the barn doors open as well. But, uh, fewer windows than what we've got in Smurf, and aren't there? This they? is probably like a um, wardrobe. Wardrobe. Yeah. And there's your pole for the table. Yeah. And then uh, your washroom. The washroom has got one of these. The swivel. Slidey doors. Slidey door, yeah. It's a wet room. We're not isn't a fan it? of them, but we'll let You've them. You've got a little roof light above. Yeah, little skylight. What's there? And a little bowl. Yeah. So, quite You've a got nice a washroom. Here. We're putting the things in, which is quite good. And a bit yeah. of storage around here. No shower curtain, is there? No. No. Maybe that's not been there. fitted yet, but uh, we think you'd need one. I can't see a rail for one. No. There is a microwave above your head there, Sue. Yeah. And a magazine rack on the wall. And then. And then a bit of storage behind there, which is quite useful. Spice. Yeah. Spices can go in there. Yeah. And then here you've got your sink. Yeah. And then not so many windows. I think that might be a bit dark for me. I yeah. like the shape of the drawers. That's a good idea. This is yeah. a long, thin one. Yeah. There you go, it's a slide. There's a slide out one, you put Has the got, tins in. Yeah, so it's got storage the other side, yeah. And then you've got you got another little cupboard another one there. there. That's got your table in. That's got the table in, yeah. Yeah, it's happy. And then more drawers here. And this is another yeah. very substantial. 
coffee pots and pans. Yeah. Okay. So it's got the Thule uh, canopy with the LEDs on, uh, just like we have on ours, and uh, the rear barn doors um, on the back. So to get to the boot, you're going to have to uh, let all the hot air out, which uh, you know. As you can see, there's a queue for that one now. It's a very popular model. Now we're intrigued to know what the winner of the Camper Van Awards 2023 is. And uh, there's the best large camper van. And uh, I don't know if you can read this is the spec here. It's a Mervi Pimento XL SB. And look at the spec here. We're looking at uh, what, 74 and a half thousand pounds. Um, and of 50 major awards they uh, boast on this and we know from people that we've spoken to that Mervi are a great van converter. So we're going to have a quick look inside in just a second. This is on a Fiat Ducato. It's a six metre van and uh, Sue's going to tell us about it. What do you know then Sue? Well I like, I like the retro look don't you? Apparently you can ask for whatever you like and make a designer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've heard that before. Yeah. 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 So this makes a massive bed or two singles. This is a. I, I like the colour of this. And it just slides across yeah. on this track. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. So this is the, this the seat here, slides down. across, and then the other part folds out to make two single beds. And you've, got, you've got the two single seats. And you've got a little table that you can use sitting there, or swing it round so you can use it while you're sitting here. Yeah. You? Yeah. So okay. You've got your Fiat. Yep, all the cab lines, everything you expect in the front end there. I love these doors. Yeah, nice, aren't they? Yeah, it's all the equipment. First aid kit in there, look. Yep. So we're, we're spotting the uh, the blue equipment there. I reckon that's lithium and uh, solar. I really like this door. We've got more cupboards here. Yep, very overhead very lockers. Very substantial. Nice, very nice big roof lockers. light. On, uh, this is a six metre van, so it's a little yeah. bit shorter than what we're used to. And then you've got a <coughs> top. Yeah, little flappy top. Surface. It's a beautiful yeah. work surface, isn't it? And you've got your little sink. And then and your three burner hob. You can have a microwave, apparently that usually goes in here. Yeah. They've got a full size, big fridge. You can have a smaller fridge if you want. It's and a compressor oven. fridge, yeah. Um, and here you've got a nice drawer. Yeah. Nice little kitchen if you like yeah. cooking. And then you've got your. Yep. This is one of the old fashioned caravans. They've got them shaped with, with this, um, with this openings, haven't they? little bin here, look. Yeah, that's nice. And then storage yeah. there. Yeah. You can put your cups in. Look. I like that, yeah. Your, did you see that? There's yeah, holes. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. For the cups yeah. to go in. Probably pull that yeah. and that drops in. Let's have a look at the washroom quickly. And then you wash them. Yep. So a fold up door. A nice um, little corner unit there. Underneath there. Yeah. And what's under there, Trev? Um, handle. Have a look. Can you reach in? Oh, a little cupboard. So a little cupboard, is you, 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 Yeah, look, if I take that yeah, off. Better. Little cupboard, look, you put uh, your toilet yeah. rolls in there, oh, can't excellent. you? Yeah, yeah. You've got another cupboard here, look. It go, oh, goes into the back, uh -huh. into the yeah. boot. Yeah, okay. And you've got these little, there's plenty of storage, look, you've got these little. Yep. Storage places. And a little skylight there, little above. Tiny skylight, and, yeah. and under here. And a rail. Look, Another cupboard. You've got okay, loads of yeah. stuff to put your toiletries, yeah. haven't you? And shower curtain. There's a lot there for a six metre van. Yeah. And of course, we we're just talking to the gentleman, you can get in and out of the Sainsbury's car park with this. Yeah. You know, so. Really and you haven't useful. really got a camper van shuffle, really, have you? Not so much, because you you're. Just come up here. Yeah. A nice splash back here. You're not fighting to get from one side of the van to the other. And a fan? Yep. A fan there, look. extractor, yep. I think it's yeah. lovely. Got a sliding window just here. Yeah, it's nice and open and light and bright. And a sliding that? window there too. Yeah, and I like these funky doors. Yeah, that's a nice style. Yeah, remind me of the 1930s. Yeah, little cupboard slot. They're yeah, great, aren't they? Lovely. Yeah, really it's nicely got USB finished. And, and with the adapters. sound system. I've even got a kitchen roll holder. Yeah. And did you see that little dis um, soap dispenser in the washroom? Yeah, I'll show you that. On the wall. Oh yeah. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. That's a good idea though, isn't yeah. it? So you've got all your entertainment system here and controls. And, uh, 
Yeah. It's a lovely van. Yeah, and this one is so good, it's been sold. And just in contrast, this uh, last one was on the Fiat Ducato chassis, this one's on the Ford Transit chassis, and a uh, little bit different, 5.4 metres this one, and just a little van, and uh, coming around the back of the barn door, Sue pointed out this. Little washroom. A little washroom nice in the back. <laughs> Another loo with a view. Yeah. But uh, again, beautifully made. And uh, yeah, I've got to be nosy. Yeah, some storage in the bottom here. And this is the back of your fridge. Coming around the side here. And the uh, price for this one's just under £71,000. And again, it's a short, a nice short little van. Uh, a double bed arrangement again. Uh, yeah, nice, nice uh, finish. Uh, I love these worktops. Similar sort of van. Wooden worktops. Yeah. With a little kitchen in the back. What a cracker! I really enjoyed that. Really enjoyed this. It's very, very nice. Like I say, we're picking out our favourites, folks. A bit of storage over the cab here for your table. Curtains. Curtain. Yeah. No cab blinds on this one. Well, we've come over to the Rapido stand. We rather like the Rapido brand. And uh, this is called the Camper Van XL, a limited edition. And uh, these are coming in at around about £76,000. This one's on a Fiat Takato. I'll take you around the front first. So here we are at the front of the van. A Dreamer. And uh, if you go down the side here, you'll see the side profile. You notice anything different about the roof? It's a high, higher roof. Nice alloy wheels. And uh, the reason for the high roof? Yeah, Sue spotted this. Drop down bed. Never seen one in a hammer van before. Drop down bed. That is quite amazing, isn't it? Take yep, so it's sleep must sleep for. Um, yeah, this it's one's sold. It's got a size narrow fridge, hasn't it? Yep, fridge. And a washroom. And a washroom down the back, yeah. I thought that was quite an interesting layout. Um, let's see from so who's gone round the back here now, but uh, that's the layout there, you see. So you've got uh, another bedroom in the back. Let's go around. There's another bed in the back here. But you can lift up to put things in the back, yep. can't you? And that looks like an outside shower point there. Yeah, there is. Outside shower, and yep. So the gas is kept in this cupboard here, isn't it? Yep. Gas. So another different uh, take on the panel van conversion I by Rapido. Got, I reckon you've got the toilet one side. Yeah. Doorway to the right. Yeah. Can you see that? And then yeah. there's also a doorway to the left. And we can see that from the uh, from the, the yeah. From the left. Wardrobe. Yeah. I think we see that from the diagram. You see how tall it is compared with the usual roof. We're looking in the other window now at the, the kitchen. kitchen. There's a sink there and two gas burners, isn't there? Yeah. And drawers underneath. I can't see an oven. Yeah. And then you've got the uh, two passenger seats just here with the table it's and the swivel made, seats. Isn't it? That's a nice layout, yeah. <laughs> well, that is about it for this uh, caravan and motorhome show. And it, what was it called, Sue? Day, that was day two. We didn't do any filming, did we? No. What uh, you've just watched was uh, yesterday. It was day one, on Thursday. Um, 
Yeah, it was a caravan camping and motorhome show 2023. Got it written down here. But we've met lots of lovely people that take the time to watch us, and that means more to us than anything else when they stop us and say hello and have a chat. So yeah. we've really enjoyed that today, so that's yeah. why we haven't done any filming. Yeah, we met a few of our friends that we've met before, and we missed the crafties, didn't we? Yes. Just by a few minutes. Yeah. So sorry, Kaz and Pete. We'll catch up with you again very soon. But um, it was a good show. I enjoyed it a lot. Very busy on Friday. Um, we've seen one or two really nice the campers. Car. Yep. Where we saw that? the concept version, um, which I think we didn't film in the end. Or a sleeper. Or a sleeper. A Mercedes which, yeah. With Audi heat and Camper van, right? That's interesting. So it's good to see the big, big manufacturers coming up with new ideas. We already know about the uh, um, the auto uh, trail. Auto trail, yeah, the A class. We looked in that. Very, very nice. A um, little bit above my price range, oh. but uh, very, very nice. Um, the K yacht was another one I particularly like. The A class in the K yacht, and. Uh, and what was the other one we picked out? It was very nice. We like um, the Pilotti. Yeah, there was there were several of the uh, European vans oh. that we picked out were, were particularly nice. But we didn't film today. There were so many people. It was very, very hot in the hall. So I uh, hope you'll forgive us for that. We're now off to Lincoln Farm Park, which is in Whitney, just near, in Oxfordshire, just near the Cotswolds, for a couple of days rest up. And... Uh, We'll film the site there. We've heard it's good. Oh. Yeah. We're so, meeting uh, in a pub tonight with someone, aren't we? Yeah, we're meeting Tony in the pub tonight. So we'll have a picture of that. And if I get a chance, I'll put that in right now. See you next time then. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> Bye.